हेलो गाइज गुड इवनिंग सो इन लास्ट वीडियो आई वाज डिस्कसिंग अबाउट करंट डिवीजन फॉर्मूला वोल्टेज डिवीजन फॉर्मूला इवन वी हैव सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स सो आई होप यू लाइक माय वीडियो एंड आई एम श्योर यू हैव लर्न समथिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट हैज बीन यूज इन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क सो लेट मी से वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू लर्न दिस टर्म्स because uh, to analyze a electrical network or electrical circuit we should understand each and every term first then uh, it will be easy to work out on this particular uh, network so we, uh, without wasting our time we'll start the video my name is sr prasti and you are watching my beautiful channel love you science let's start so first we'll discuss about active element then we'll discuss about passive element node kya hota hai junction kya hota hai branch loop and mesh and mostly in engineering semester people are getting short kind of question from this section like one mark question what is passive element with one example like what is the difference between loop and mesh what is the difference between node and junction and what is active element what is branch so short type of question you may get uh, in exam like in so first we'll start from the active element active element kya hota hai active element uh, is uh, uh, which will supply electrical energy uh, to the circuit right that is called active element like uh, battery so if, if we consider the circuit here there are two sources of potential difference v1 and v2 which are responsible to give or supply power to the circuit that means we can say v1 and v2 are the active element again i repeat active element are such element which supply electrical energy to the circuit similarly what is passive element active element ho gaya clear v1 and v2 are the active element in the circuit Similarly, passive element क्या है? Passive element are those element which consume power, or you can say which can get electrical energy from the source. Like here, there are three resistor R1, R2, R3 are the passive element. Also, we may say we can say inductor, capacitor also passive element because it consume energy from the source, no doubt, but it stored that energy in terms of magnetic field you know if there is a inductor having inductance l what is the energy stored half l i square so we can say inductor is also passive element similarly another element is there which is called capacitor then there is a capacitor of capacitance c capacitor will receive the energy from the source and it store the energy in terms of electric field and what is that formula the energy formula is half cv square so here what you conclude passive element are such element which receives energy from the source then after we can use that energy or we may store that energy so energy storing device there are two energy storing element like inductor and capacitor in inductor is a energy storing device which store energy in terms of magnetic field and capacitor is a energy storing element which store energy in terms of electric field but there is a huge difference between l and c actually the meaning of l or inductance ka meaning kya hota inductance is a property of a coil which opposes sudden change in current may sudden change in current matlab sudden rise in current or sudden fall in current so actually that is the meaning of what inductance that's why there will be voltage develop or induced across the two point of the coil that to, that voltage is minus of l into di upon dt that is the emf which will be induced minus symbol is given that is because of lenz law so that is not part of our syllabus we just remember as per our syllabus we know what is passive element passive elements are such element which receives energy from the power supply similarly capacitance capacitor capacitance uh, is a passive element capacitance ka exact meaning kya hota hai it is a property of a capacitor which opposes sudden change in voltage maybe sudden rise in voltage or sudden fall in voltage 
सो ये पार्ट तो डिफरेंट है विल स्टिक टू सिलेबस एक्टिव एलिमेंट समझ में आ गया पासिव एलिमेंट समझ में आ गया ठीक है सो और एक चीज आई विल से कभी कभार क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं स्टूडेंट कि सर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सोर्स एंड लोड सोर्स क्या होता है लोड क्या होता है अरे सेम थिंग सोर्स इज समथिंग व्हिच एबल टू डिलीवर सम इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर लाइक योर बैटरी इज अ सोर्स जनरेटर इज अ सोर्स एंड लोड इज समथिंग व्हिच कंज्यूम इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर और इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी लाइक योर ऑल द इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायंसेस लाइक फैन आवर मोटर्स so these are the electrical appliances which consume electrical energy from the source understood so actually if i say technically there is no absolute definition of active element passive element source and load just it has been written in book and someone has said that's why you remember but there is no absolute definition i'm giving an example why Uh, let uh, we are like like you are the students and your parents are spending 10 lakhs 15 lakhs in engineering so they are acting as source because they are providing money for your education and you are the load since you are consuming that money that uh, may be in education or may be in other things if i compare between your parents to you i can say your parents are the source you are the load understood but at the same time if we give to another person or if we give 5 lakhs to a friend then you will be acting as source your friend will acting as load so it's a kind of relative term there is no absolute definition understood it's a kind of energy con uh, conversion but electrically we can say source is something which can able to deliver some electrical energy like battery like generator and load is something which consume electrical energy like electrical appliances understood but actual there is no absolute definition it's a relative term jaise ki rest aur motion ka kuch definition nahi hota hai rest ka koi definition nahi hai motion ka koi definition nahi it's all about a relative kind of thing theek hai forget it next we'll talk about node node kya hai aur junction kya hai dono mein difference kya See, node is a equipotential point. With that point, two or more than two circuit elements are connected. याद रखो ये चीज. Node is a equipotential point where two or more circuit elements are connected. Two or more than two circuit elements. But junction is again a equipotential point. Where three or more circuit elements are connected. Is me two or more circuit elements is connected. Is me three or more than three circuit elements are connected. Usually, log bolte hai ki node junction same. Arey node alag hai, junction alag hai. ठीक है, node is a subset of junction. But is me compare karte. ठीक है. Let us see. ये example dekho. If I take the point A. If I consider the point A as equipotential point, so there are two circuit elements are connected. I can say A is a node. मतलब A is the node. I can write here A is the node. Similarly, if I say B, looking from the point B or equipotential point B, there are how many circuit elements? One, two, and three. So it is more than two. i can say b is the node similarly if i say c so with respect to the point c there are how many circuit elements are connected there are two circuit elements one is r3 other is v2 there are two circuit elements are connected i can say c is the node so there are how many nodes a b c okay again one more node is there d See, look at D. There are how many circuit elements? One, two, and three. There are three circuit elements are connected to the equipotential point. So I can say D is a node. Getting my point? Node is clear. Okay. Next, we'll discuss about the junction. A junction? What is it? Junction is a equipotential point where 
थ्री और मोर देन थ्री सर्किट एलिमेंट आर कनेक्टेड याद रखो ये चीज थ्री और मोर देन थ्री सर्किट एलिमेंट्स आर कनेक्टेड सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस पॉइंट बी इन दिस एग्जाम्पल सो देर आर थ्री सर्किट एलिमेंट्स आर कनेक्टेड टू द पॉइंट बी वन इज आर वन सेकेंड इज आर टू थर्ड इज आर थ्री सो देर आर थ्री सर्किट एलिमेंट्स आर कनेक्टेड सो यू कैन से बी इज द जंक्शन सिमिलरली डी इज अ जंक्शन because there are three circuit elements are connected to the point d one is r2 second is v1 third is v2 so we can say b and d are the junction again i summarize what the difference between node and junction node is a equipotential point where two or more than two circuit elements are connected whereas junction is a equipotential point where three or more than three circuit elements are connected so junction i can write down here b and d okay then we will discuss about branch a branch kya hota hai theek hai branch is nothing but it is a path in between two junction yaad ho which is branch is a path in the circuit or in the network between two junction understood B and D are the two junction already have told you. So in between B and D, this R2 is there. So ये हो गया आपका path. Similarly, और भी एक path होगा. Like from B to the resistance R1, again A, then the voltage B1, then D. So ये आपका एक path हो गया. ये एक path हो गया. ये भी एक path हो जाएगा. Like from B, then resistance, then C, then voltage V2, then D. So there are how many branch? Three branch. Branch or branch? Both easy. Branch. Don't say branch is the path between two node. Branch is the path between two junction. First of all, you should um, know where is the junction. Then in between two junction, the path is called branch. Done. Okay. So a branch. Okay. Branch. What will happen? Look. This is your branch. This is a branch. This is a branch. Okay. Then we will discuss about loop. तो यूजुअली लूप क्या है मेस क्या है स्टूडेंट बोलते हैं सर लूप तो क्लोज पाथ मेस तो क्लोज पाथ तो क्या डिफरेंस है एक्चुअली अगर देखा जाएगा मेस एंड लूप बोथ आर ऑलमोस्ट सेम बट देर इज ए डिसिमिलरिटी सो डिस्कस दिस डिसिमिलरिटी नाउ सिमिलरिटी क्या है लूप इज ए क्लोज पाथ मेस इज ऑल्सो ए क्लोज पाथ बट मेस कैन नॉट फर्दर डिवाइड इट इज दर्टेस्ट क्लोज पाथ आई कैन से Mesh is a close path. Loop is a close path. But loop can be divided. But mesh cannot be divided further. So in this question, we can say if we start uh, like A B D A. If I start from A, then to B, then D, then finally back to A. That is called loop. Ye close path ho gaya. If I start from B, then C. Then this point, then D, then B. That is a close path. Ye bhi ek loop ho gaya. Or else, I can start from A. Then I'll go to B. Then C. Then this point, then D. Then this point, then A. So that is also a loop. So there are how many loop? Ye loop one, ye loop two, ye loop three. There are three loop. So how many loop? Three loop. But maze is the close path. But it cannot further divide so here i can say if i start from a then to b then d again a that is called mess so matlab loop number 1 is called mess it cannot further divide or divide nahi hoga same thing here if i start from b then go to c then this point then d then back to a loop number 2 is called mess 2 so in this circuit there are two mess And three loops. Understood? Clear? With this, I am ending uh, this lecture. Hope you guys understood and uh, liked my video. So thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you. Thank you so much.